All right, so now we're going to solve literal equations. Literal equations really are just equations that have several variables in them. That's all. Usually like a formula. Say, take for example this one. Area, this is the formula for the area of a rectangle. Area equals length times width. So right now, area is isolated. But we could take this equation and actually solve for w. And all that means is, well, instead of having a isolated, we would like to isolate w. And so you go through the same processes that you would if you had a bunch of numbers running around. Don't let all the letters freak you out. All right? The processes stay the same. So what are we doing? What's our goal? Our goal is to isolate w. In order to isolate w, we need to move everything, every term that does not have a w to one side, every term that does have a w to the other side which we already have that. A doesn't have anything. So we have one term over here, LW. All right, so how do we get rid of this L? Well, this is L times W. And so how do we undo multiplication, so to speak, is you divide this by L. But if you divide this side by L, you have to divide this side by L. So we have A divided by L equals W. And you've isolated W using the... Uh, the uh, multiplication property of equations. All right, so let's try this one. All right, so let's take this equation and solve for L. Now this equation, if you know, is the perimeter of a rectangle. Uh, perimeter meaning the, the, the links around, add up the links around the sides of the rectangle, and you have two links and two widths. Whether you know that or not, it's really irrelevant to what we're trying to do here, uh, but this is a, a true formula that's used every day. Okay, so we want to solve this for L. Now that means isolate L. So again, move all terms that do not have an L to the to one side of the equation, and all terms that do have an L to the other side. So in this case, we just need to move 2W over here with the P. Well, how do we get rid of the 2W on the right-hand side? Well, since we're adding 2W, then we need to subtract 2W from the right-hand side, which means that we need to subtract 2W from the left side. So we'd write this as P minus 2W is equal to 2L. All right, so now we want to get rid of the 2. Well, in order to get rid of the 2, we need to divide both sides by 2. So we have P minus 2W divided by 2 equals L. Now, you might be tempted to go, well, let's cancel these 2's out. But you can't cancel those 2's out because you've got this P hanging along here. Uh, and so uh, there's, there's nothing else we can do with this. You could write this as P divided by 2 minus 2w divided by 2 equals L, and then go, oh, now I can cancel these 2's out here, and have p over 2 minus w equals L. But that's about the only way that you can do that. I think leaving it right here is fine. You've isolated L. That's the whole point. But if you were to try to simplify it further, if you want, uh, you need to separate it up as individual fractions. The most common error is to just go, well, let's ax these twos out right here. Let's just get rid of them. And you can't do that unless you've also got a 2 over here with a P. All right, so example 3. Solve for, what do we solve for here? B. All right, so this is the, anybody know what this is? The area of a triangle. So if you want to take this area of a triangle, or just take this literal equation and isolate B. Well, we got this fraction. Don't let the fractions freak us out. Um, we know how to take care of the fractions. In order to eliminate the fractions, my personal opinion is I would multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator of your fractions. Well, in this case, 2 is the least common denominator. So multiply both sides by 2, and we're going to have 2A and if you multiply this side by 2, you get 2 times 1 half, which goes away, and it leaves you BH. And then in order to isolate B, you just divide both sides by H. And there you go. Got to get in the hang of it. All right, I got one more to show you, and this is for people who have probably had intermediate algebra or, or higher. All right, so here's our literal equation. Yes, it is a real-life formula. It's uh, the surface area of a cube, uh, of a rectangular solid, to be to be exact. Uh, and a rectangular solid has six sides, and uh, opposite sides are equal. 
and so you have two of this area plus two of this area plus two of this area and you add all that up and you get the entire surface area of the rectangular solid. Now whether you know that or not or you know this formula or not that's irrelevant to what we're discussing here but I did want to let you know that this is a real life formula. Alright so we want to take this equation and solve for H. So isolate H. So all terms that do not have an H Let's move them over here to the other side. So 2LW needs to move over to the other side. So S minus 2LW equals, we have 2WH and 2HL. All right, so we have two terms over here on the right side that have H. Now our goal is to get to just one H. So the question is, how can we rewrite this right-hand side so that there is just one H? All right, well, this is where the uh, the skill comes in called factoring. If you are in intermediate algebra or above, then you are well aware of, of factoring already. So what we're going to do is look at these two terms and say, oh look, we can factor an h out. And if we factor, an, yes, we yes, I agree, we could factor a two h out, but it's the h that we really want. So we're just going to leave the two there. So factor the h out, and we have two w plus 2L when you factor that H out using the reverse of the distributed property. The greatest common factor was, was H. Now you have H times 2W plus 2L. So in order to isolate H, what do we need to do to both sides? Divide both sides by 2W plus 2L. Very good. So S minus 2LW divided by 2w plus 2l is equal to h. And we just isolated the h. So the process of solving literal equations, equations that have a bunch of letters in them, is the exact same process as solving equations that had the numbers in them like we did before. All right? So just, in fact, they're very, very good practice for making sure you do understand uh, those two properties uh, from solving equations uh, with numbers in them. Okay, so study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.